Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, we are going to look at how we can create a reusable auth guard instead of our previous admin auth guard so that we can pass multiple roles to this guard and be able to um, basically you know, use it across multiple controllers in multiple scenarios. For example, I want to handle the scenario of this guard being useful to say that okay you know these api routes are only accessible through admin whereas the same route will be used to say that these apis are only available to members and then there is the third option which is i should be able to say that these apis are available to admin man managers maybe and even members and for some they will be only admin and managers right so as you can understand we are creating a very um, dynamic um, guard which is able to get the roles as parameters we will use decorators to fetch those information right and then our guard will once it, the guard gets the information it will check whether the current user has that role or not and accordingly make the decision whether it can allow the request to go on or it should terminate so yeah that's about it that's what we are going to try in this video so let's get started so this is what we had created in our previous video where we have admin role guard we created the can activate method where we got the user from the request object and then we loaded the user from the database and we checked whether this particular user has that particular role or not now similarly we will create a new guard called roles dot guard dot ts again it should extend the same class uh, sorry it should export class roles oops and it should implement can activate obviously that's how any guard should work and we will get that function can activate i'm going to return a promise which is going to be a boolean so a sync over here return false by default that is the safest way to put things in okay we don't need observable anymore and now what we are going to do is this is the guard which will be used so let's go to quiz controller instead of this admin role guard what we will do is pass roles guard okay that's done but then as we said how do we pass the information that this particular guard needs to allow which particular roles right so in this what we are going to create is called a custom decorator through which we will send this metadata what we are going to send is metadata to the handler of this controller and javascript allows us to you know create our custom decorators so that we can pass these informations so let's look at creating a new decorator so why don't we create a new file called roles decorator.ts and this decorator what it is going to do is export a constant roles now what it is going to do is it is going to get the arguments what we are passing it's going to be of type string like this and it is going to read it is going to set that or return a, whatever is the response from you know by passing that information to a function which we get called set metadata what this allows us to do is add these metadata into the you know entire cycle so i have a key the key for us will be roles and what we are going to stick over here is the roles which we got from the arguments so the decorator is ready let's go to our controller and why don't we add this custom decorator that we just created and in here i'll pass admin members as my choice of role holders who need to go or uh, rather who are allowed in this particular api so what did we do we created a guard as expected this guard is going to get the metadata from the custom decorator that we just created and this decorator is going to pass information 
about the rules which we want to say that these are allowed, right? And how is it going to do? It is calling that set metadata function, right? Where we are passing the rules which are supposed to be, you know, allowed to access that API. Okay, so we have created the decorator. Now, is it really doing anything? Can we see anything in that? Let's see if that is possible. So inside our guard, okay, we will be able to retrieve the roles which are coming as metadata. How do we do that? There is something called reflector. We will have to inject that thing. So I'll create constructor private reflector of type reflector. This is coming from next JS common and then I'll get constant roles equals this dot reflector dot get okay and it's of type string like this and I am saying that the metadata key is exactly what we passed inside our decorator can you see set metadata it was roles so in here while retrieving I'm going to get with the same key and how do we get that context dot get handler okay so which means if ideally i do a console over here i should get the roles array correct why don't we try that let's go to swagger this is the api that i need to call and this is the terminal so let's hit execute what do we get we get cannot read property get of undefined now that's interesting so let's see what are we doing over here roles this reflector get this is fine the use guards is doing role guard which is also correct so then it should have ideally given me something let me try once more okay it is not getting the get thing so is it that the dependency injection is failing or maybe the mistake which I have done over here is this guard is an injectable, right? So that's the reason it was failing. So now if I try, it says forbidden rich source, which is definitely true because I am returning false. But can you see I'm getting the roles? So what just happened from the controller over here, we passed this guard as you know the guard which needs to take care and we pass this metadata that these are the roles who are allowed and that's the reason inside the console of roles guard we are able to get the roles so once we have this i think things become quite easy right i need the request object as we had done inside the admin role guard so why don't we steal a little bit of code from here and save some time so we have request we get the user. I need the user service, obviously. So let me quickly inject that as well. Like so. This is done. And then for the return, we need to do something else. We have the roles, which is what? What, do, what are we getting? We are getting an array of strings. So if we do something like return roles dot includes user dot role. If this is the case, then if this condition is true that means the user has the role which is over here in this array of roles right and hence we allow it to pass and if it doesn't then it return false and we are returning false anyways by default so let's see i come to this particular api and if i do execute it still gives me 403 it shouldn't have been the case let's see 403 again what just happened so I have rules. Am I getting the rules? Let's see. Yeah, I, I was getting the rules, right? What is the situation of the database? It is member. Okay. And what are we? What do we have over here? Members. Okay, that is the reason it is failing. Why don't we do one thing? First, we will do member. And now if I try to create one, it allows me to create that, right? The quiz gave me an ID, which means this is passing. Obviously, if I remove the member and just have admin, it will give me a 403. 
But then if the user has a role of admin, correct? If I go over here, can you see now I'm able to create the quiz again? So this is the beauty of the guard which we created. We are able to pass conditions like, you know, routes where admin or members are allowed, routes where only member is allowed and route where only admin is allowed. So with this, a you know, reusable decorator, and the guard, we are able to generally handle all the ACL related activities inside our application. So that's about it, guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.